Welcome back to the MS Project 2010 video tutorial series by group.net. In lesson 2.3, we explore the various views on MS Project. The topics include task views, resource views and other features. For every project and for every person who views the project, a different and customized view is required depending upon his needs. MS Project provides different views in terms of charts or graphs, sheets and forms. View on the screen can be one or a combination of more views. The typical views are like Gantt chart, resource sheet, etc. To see the different views, we click the View tab. Here we see that there are two kinds of views. This side shows the task based views and this shows the resource based views. By default, GAN chart is usually selected. There is a view label on the left side which shows which is the current view. To change a view, we simply click the arrow here and click the desired one we want. Like now, we change the Gantt chart to Tracking Gantt. This is the task usage view which shows the task in terms of hours for the different projects. Then we have the network diagram. We can zoom in to see the details. The current one is a descriptive network diagram. We can also have a simpler network diagram with lesser details. The critical path of the project is shown in red. The other view could be a calendar based view where a calendar shows each of the days and what are the tasks along with the duration for each of those days. To see more views we can simply click other views, more views and choose from the variety which starts from bar roll up, calendar, descriptive network diagram, detailed Gantt and so on. We can also create newer customized views. The resource based views are like the team planner which gives a list of all the resources and their occupancy on the various dates, the resource usage, the resource sheet and again the other views which give the same set of different views. Let us go back to the Gantt chart. We can sort the various tasks by different categories. For example, if we sort by start date, then all the tasks are arranged sending order of their task dates by finish date, by priority, by their cost or by their project IDs. We can also set the view by different outlines. Outlines are defined from outline level 1 to outline level 9. If we click outline level 1, then just the most major heading is shown. Outline level 2 shows the next set of subheadings. Outline level 3 makes it more detailed and so on up to the final level of outlines. Another interesting feature of MS Project 2010 is the timeline view. 
To see the timeline view, we click the checkbox near timeline. This activates the timeline. The different dates are shown up and the corresponding tasks along with the date. Clicking the detail timeline shows the smaller details of each of these tasks like the activity name, the start duration, the task finish and the percentage complete. So to summarize, we have seen the various types of task views, resource views and other features like sorting, outline, time scale etc. This presentation material is available on group.net. Thank you for joining us on this tutorial. In the next part of the video tutorial series at group.net, we will take a look at the different kinds of reports.